Hi everybody, welcome back to Sew Making It Up. I'm Jane and today I thought I'd just pop by to do a small review about remnants. Remnant fabric shopping and what I have made recently. So I've got three makes to show you. So before we get into my makes, I thought I'd talk a little bit about why I like shopping for fabric remnants. Now, there are a few reasons. One, I would say, is because when I look at other people's videos and they're wearing, they've made something out of lovely fabric and it's not a shop I'm familiar with, I'll jump straight on there and have a look to see what else the shop has to offer. Sometimes though, by the time I get on there, the fabric has gone. So I'll have a trawl through and see if there's anything else I like, but then I'll jump onto the sale and the remnant section just to see if there's anything in there that will inspire me. And it helps also to check out that shop to buy something that's not expensive to see what the packaging's like, the quality's like, what the delivery is like, and then sort of see if it's something I'm going to put on my favourite fabric shop list to buy from in the future. So I would say that's the first reason. The second reason I think is because it makes me a bit more creative. I'm not sure if everyone is as guilty uh, as I am on this, but when I when I want to buy some fabric, I just tend to buy like a metre and a half, two metres, three metres, and I buy it because I like the fabric, but then normally it goes into my stash and it's ages before I do something with it. When I look at uh, remnants, obviously they are smaller pieces, but I really think about what I'm going to make before I buy something, obviously depending on the size of the fabric and sometimes I think that can make you be more creative if you've got smaller amounts of fabric but you want to get something out of it you feel like you're getting a bit more of a bargain because you could have made a top for you know five pounds out of a fabric potentially that you wouldn't really looked at before so that's number two which kind of leads on to number three where it's normally less expensive you can get some really nice quality fabrics even if it's in smaller sizes for a lot less money and, and also I think it's easier to justify your fabric buying habit if you have to. If there are lots of packages coming through the door every week, which there might be here, it's much easier to say to your other half, well, they were on sale, they were remnants, they're not that expensive. I can buy a lot more for the same money. We're all good. Okay, let's go into the first make. So as I said, I am wearing this now. This is, um, and I've got it written down here so I can remember because I've bought quite a few remnants. So this is uh, two pieces of fabric from Sew Over It. There is the Lunar Floral. This was listed as a crepe, but it feels more like a, a mid-white, mid-white, mid-weight cotton. And it is backed with a mid-weight, mid to heavyweight black crepe, which you can see here. I really can't see it that much. Let me move the chair out the way because that's not it. So there we go. So I have used the contrasting back and the pattern front. Just got it tucked into a pair of jeans. This is the Egret Top by Sewing Revival. It's not a new pattern. It's been out, I would say, easily at least a year. It's the first time I have used it. So it has neck... <laughs> arm facings what is wrong with me today it has armhole facings and then it has if i just come up here a nice gathered detail around the top now i have definitely i've used the elastic measurements but it is feeling a little bit tight around the top it's dragging backwards because the weight of the fabrics are different unfortunately so even on the site it, it sort of said that this was a a crepe I expected them to be the same weight even if they're in different colours. It's not, this is slightly lighter so I've got a dragging back so what I'm going to do is just extend the elastic out a little bit. It will still drag back but it will give me more space around here and I think that feel a bit more comfortable. The egret top comes with lots of very clear instructions, lots of pictures and really really quick and easy make. Perfect for small amounts of fabric. Now I have made this from this front portion was 50 centimetres long by 140 centimetres wide. So I didn't have quite enough on the length. So because the fabric was the same, whether it was the warp and the weft, I've kind of turned it round and cut it out par par horizontal to the selvage. 
Now I'm being leached out a bit by the sun, that's not good, is it? And then on here, which you more than likely won't be able to see at all, I have put down a seam down the middle, which is, you know, you can do it with a busy fabric like this, you're not going to see that. I've top stitched it to make it into a bit of a feature. You didn't get that close, but you really won't. And the back section is 80 centimetres long by 140. So I had enough from the back to just make that all in one section. And in total, that cost me, so the back fabric cost me seven pounds, the front fabric cost me four pounds 50. So that is a top for £11.50. And it's this, as I say, I've got it tucked into trousers, jeans, but I've made this really as a sort of a, a back to work piece where I'd have this all tucked into a pair of black work trousers with a jacket. And I think for, you know, that amount of money, for the quality of fabric and the amount of time it's taken, that was a bit of a bargain. Thumbs up. Okay, we're now going to go on to make number two. As if by magic, I am back with make number two. Now, this is the toaster, the Soho 7 toaster top, which again, if you see my videos, you'll be like, oh, she's made so many of those. It's true, I have, I love them. However, this one is from, the fabric is from Sew Me Sunshine, which I hadn't used that shop before. They've got some lovely fabrics. And when this, fabric arrives, sorry, just getting these out, it comes with a nice little card, little postcard there. It also comes with, which I've not seen before, which I absolutely think is a brilliant idea and I'm hoping you can see that, it comes with care instructions for lots of different fabric. Really handy! And also, it, on the back, you can make notes around what you have bought and what you have made. I think he's fab and then it also comes with a 10% off little little card there and it was beautifully packaged so I will be using So Me Sunshine again it will go down on one of my my favorites and what I ordered from there was this uh, a, cu a couple of fabrics so this is navy cashmere jersey which i hadn't used before both of these fabrics are from mind the maker fabrics and i have to apologize about the light because in the uk one minute it's really sunny the next minute is torrential rain then it's hail then it's windy so the light level is going up and down as i try and cater for every single weather scenario that is going on outside so i'm really sorry if it keeps keeps changing and bleaching out um this so i've made a, a toaster i'm going to go a bit closer to the camera so you can see the fabric as i said i've not used cashmere blend um jerseys that sort of cotton jersey before it feels amazing and while i'm here it's going to bleach it out again a little bit i have put on here contrast fabric again in a navy so the contrast is on the arms and round the neck binding which you probably can't see i will put in some other photos while I'm talking about this so you're not trying to struggle from the really rubbish views that I'm giving you close to the camera. Sorry about that. These are, as I've said, both from Sew Me Sunshine. The navy cashmere was 55 centimetres long and the cotton wicker knit was 34 centimetres long. So the navy cashmere was £16.30 and the cotton wicker knit was £6.80. So both small amounts of fabric, again with the jerseys so though, they're quite long. So what I've done in here, I managed to eke out the body, the front and back, and the sleeve cuffs from that uh, cashmere mitt, mm, cashmere mitt, <sighs> cashmere mixed jersey. And then again, because the cotton wicker knit was only 34 centimetres, I shifted that around and I've done this um, basically again in cut it out in parallel to the selvage. It's, it's a stretch, it had equal stretch both ways and because it's going on the sleeves and around the neckline, I didn't really think it mattered. On the site it, it looked thicker and more cotton than it was. On here, it's very drapey. 
it, it feels a little bit polyestery um, it, and it's thin but again the contrast is really nice and again because of the amount I have I haven't finished the bottom all I've done is I've overlocked it and it sort of turns up a little bit I don't mind that it's sort of a real casual look rather than having on the toaster if you've made that you'll sit you'll know that you have sort of a contrast band at the bottom I've just left it it's it's fine um it's easy to wear easy to make and from you know from that amount 20 you know 24 pounds or whatever something like this I, I i think it's a bargain it was a nice use of the fabric okay so that was make number two i'm now going on to make number three okay make number three as you can see let me stand up because you can't really see there we go this is um, more fabric from Sew Me Sunshine and it is the Kingfisher Top by Sewing Revival. Again, not a new pattern but one I've not done before. Again, really quick and easy make. This pattern is designed for woven fabrics but you have the jersey band and the cuffs so you can have this around the arms and around the bottom or just around the neck and the arms which is what I've done and just turned up the bottom. So these patterns I think are made and designed in New Zealand but it also shows the corresponding UK and US pattern sizes as well. This one I believe was a centimetre seam allowance, the egret that I just showed I think was also a centimetre seam allowance so you do need, you do need to watch out for that. This I have made in a satin from Sew Me Sunshine. This is Diana Grey satin and it was 52 centimetres long by 150 wide. It was four pounds. Four pounds. Now, I really didn't think I was gonna squeeze this out of, of here, but again, because it was quite wide, and because of the shape of the pattern, I did some sort of, you know, imaginative cutting. I'm not, I'm not sure about the pattern placement of the flowers, but I didn't have much choice. Again, I thought that this would be good, you know, tucked into a pair of work trousers. It's the, the fabric is lovely. It feels really nice. It wasn't really a pain to sew, but it does catch. So even though I had a fresh sewing needle, I think I used a, 70 uh, even if you cut it, it it sort of it catches and pulls the threads you can't really see can't really see it because of rubbish light but also because it's patterned you you don't really see that the snags on it but that is something to be wary of i ended up not pinning it at all i ended up clipping it with wonder clips just so it i reducing the amount that this could snag nice easy wet make um you know, it took me, I would say, about half an hour. And again, for that amount of money for this sort of fabric, I think it's really good. And I was quite surprised the, the things that you can actually make with half a metre of fabric and less. I purposely, I think I did a remnant haul and I will see if I can link to it as well, where I'd, I'd use some beautiful fabrics from Lamazi, but I tended to make the closet core cali top or the Ogden cami and I really wanted to see what else I could get out of small pieces of fabric. I, so I've also ordered a bargain bag from Minerva where they do a selection of fabrics, five metres of fabrics for 9.99 UK, UK currency. So obviously that's two pounds per metre. And they do them in a selection. I have gone for the summer selection bargain bag. I think they do them by colour as well and also a winter selection. So when that arrives, I will do a, be doing a video of that as well. I've never ordered them before, so I'm quite excited to actually see what's in there. I can also show you as well. So if you ever feel like ordering one in the future, you can know what you're going to get. And I've also ordered some more fabric there because I want to make a another uh, closet core Cali top, but a dress. So I've seen a few people make their sort of Cali dress and they look lovely. So I've chosen some fabric for that. Minerva will do free UK postage if you spend £30 or above. Why would I not? And I think they do 
free international postage if you spend £50 and above. So when that comes, I'll also share that with you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a, a thumbs up and please like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, as always, I think half of our viewers have not subscribed. So if you want to subscribe, there is a little image either there or there of our faces. And if you press that, it will subscribe. And you can also hit the notification bell to get more notifications of when our next video is out. Normally we post them weekly. It'll either be on either a Friday all the way through to a Monday, depending on how much time we have. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching this video and I will see you again soon. Bye.